Growing in Christ has grown me into womanhood. Like many other women, I found it easier to give external love than internal. Physical affections leading to lustful connections was fine, but giving the whole truth of me, all of my thoughts, the full vulnerability of my mind? No. No, that's where I drew the line. Because a girl who waits 90 days to give her husband's treasure away is a winner. But the one who instead chooses to give her heart complete? Now she's weak. I followed the trend and took instruction on how to woman from the world, which is a creation, rather than the creator who thought of us as everything when he formed us from nothing. See, usually it's easier to give up something of less value than of more. So we live, giving our bodies to person after person, while never giving them full access through our heart's door. But that's the gag. Neither body nor heart nor soul is worth less. God says they're equally heavenly, but we reject. He says they all deserve protection, but we yell, no, the body is less. Is it our fault or the lessons we've learned? If Christ is life, then maybe we've been sitting in a classroom with a teacher training us to die. But I've been growing. I've been growing, you see. And as I grow, I know. And as I know, I see. I don't sink back, but I stand tall before thee. See, I have a new teacher now. God has taught me that it's easy to give up the flesh, but hard to loosen the grip of a woman's trust. I've been growing. From a girl to a woman, a woman in strength, because she does what she once feared, standing outside the crowd, clinging to her clothes, yet quickly allowing her heart to be revealed, the gentleness of her spirit, the treasure of her submission, and the safe box of her trust is open unto him. In the past, those things were gridlocked, hidden, Behind the great wall of anxiety and pride. But Christ looked past that girl and pulled up the woman inside. He's planted my journey with patient seeds. Watered me with forgiveness. Used his title as son for my photosynthesis. And now the harvest has come. I've been growing you see. And what once was hard is still hard, but now possible. So I thank you, Lord, for guiding me and teaching me that preserving my body and releasing the fruits of my heart is not weak.